causes of the smart key not working and how to overcome it. Aside from the hard brake pedal, often the main cause of keyless cars not being able to start is because the car's smart key doesn't work. The following are the causes and ways to deal with a smart key that doesn't work. 1. Low battery as a driver and car owner. Have you noticed that the smart key battery is weak or even almost empty? Slow response and dim smart key indicator light is a sign of low battery. If circumstances do not allow replacing the battery, you can overcome this by bringing the smart key closer to the engine start, stop button while pressing the brake pedal until the indicator light turns green. On average, the smart key still stores a low frequency signal so that it can be used to start the engine. Periodically check the condition of the smart key, usually the battery it has is up to 3 years old. Even better if you have a battery backup. 2. Submerged in water It's not uncommon for you as a driver to forget to take the key out of your pants or jacket pocket, causing the smart key to be carried along while washing. This makes the car's smart key damaged until it is totally dead, unable to be used to operate the car. The solution to this problem is to use the car's emergency key. Before using it, be sure to remove the cable or horn fuse so that the alarm does not sound when opening the car door. Replace the wire or fuse. Next, immediately look for the nearest authorized repair shop for handling smart keys. 3. Active period of rolling code The rolling code is the part of the smart key that functions to transmit radio waves to the car. The active period is up to 5 years, if it's more than that then you must immediately change the rolling code at an official workshop. When the rolling code passes its active period, the smart key doesn't work. To prevent this from happening, record the active period so that it can be anticipated. When disturbed by radio waves, your car's smart key will automatically turn off and not work. You don't need to panic because the car door can be opened using a manual key. Furthermore, how to turn on the car is the same as when the smart key runs out of battery. By bringing the smart key closer to the engine start, stop button while pressing the brake pedal until the indicator light turns green. Tips for caring for keyless remotes to maintain the normal function of the remote keyless car so that it is more optimal, you can follow some of the things suggested. Do not place the remote in direct sunlight as this could damage the components inside. Keep the remote away from water as it may cause a short circuit. Do not allow the keyless remote to hit hard as this could potentially damage it. Avoid emitting strong magnets or electromagnets during keyless remote operation as they may affect the internal components of the remote control and cause the battery to drain.